Hell. Well, it's it's a clean up day, and that's for sure. Yeah, she's saying, why don't you do that laundry for me? Fold that all up, will you? No? Okay. So, uh, I'm going to get it done. Random water bottle. No lid. <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm going to clean all of this paperwork up off, open up, let the sunshine in. It's morning here on Wednesday the 19th, I believe, yeah. And keeping the boys separated from the girls still. Um, I bought Yahoo thinking it was the Yahoo that it was when I was a child. It isn't. Reading the ingredients, there's not even milk in it. it I thought it used to be a milk drink. Anyway, I was going to, I'm probably going to give it away. <laughs> Long story short. Ugh. Um, yeah, put that away, Kendra. I did, I already did empty the sink that had the um, stuff I needed to wash by hand. So, and I washed up the crock pot and the lid and all of that by hand. And um, I need to clean up this mess that is the laundry room. Get this all fixed up. So today says planned leftovers. I'd like that if it happened, but it may not, depending on how fast they go through what leftovers are in there. I think they can do it. Then I would make the actual chili dogs on Thursday, which would make my heart happy. Yes, it would. <laughs> and uh, that's that. I'll show you that I put this on the, um, on the dishwasher at night because my uh, husband I'm sorry one actually my youngest works evenings and when he comes in late at night and I'm already in bed I like him to put away the dishes that's one of the things that I ask him to do um and if I don't do this he says oh, I didn't know <laughs> we fix that problem and here's what's left of yesterday's biscuits I keep calling them that yesterday's rolls and um so that's that. My name is Kendra, and I'm going to show you. Finally, fold up these bags from the haul that was what, four days ago. The paper bags are still there. I don't know what I do with my day. I think I watch everybody's beautiful vlogs and think, why can't I do that? Oh, I. This is what's left of the roses. Not much. There. That was a pretty bouquet, and. These are dying. They're not meant to live a long time, so I don't feel bad. I don't feel like I killed them, you know, <laughs> like I've been known to do with flowers. So I'll shine up this sink and get back to you with an after picture. Hey, I'm back, and it's just like an hour or so later, maybe a little bit more, maybe. Anyway, um, I'm taking a break because the uh, leftovers, they're not going to make it. They've already been into them. That's fine. It's great. I love it when they eat leftovers, but this just means that I'm going to go ahead and do those chili dogs on the list. So I do mine in the Instant Pot. Super, super easy. I don't know what model or style I have here, but it's a big one. So when I make uh, double de 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 boiled eggs, I'm making potato salad for the uh, chili dogs tonight, which is on the, you know, the list here. It says chili dogs, tater salad, and strawberries. So um, I have this egg holder thing that just keeps them from hitting the bottom. And I put that down in the bottom like that. And then I take one cup of cold water. It should never be hot water because getting up to temperature is part of the process for cooking the eggs. The reason I get this giant thing out and do it this way is because um, you, can't, you can't even believe the difference when you peel them. It's wonderful. If you've never done it this way, you really should try. So, super easy. Um, you can even use that um, metal. Let me show you. You could use this thing. That's what I did before I bought the actual egg holder. And I don't pick it up by this. I pick them up with tongs when it's done. Because they don't hold. They'll fall out. You know, it's not like a, a super good holder. So I don't need to count because I'm just going to, any leftovers that I have too much of, I'm going to go ahead and put those in the uh, refrigerator and they'll eat them for breakfast as boiled eggs or whatever. The, they're all grown men, so they, they can make some gone gone with the eggs, boiled eggs. Okay, so I got looks like 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. I can't end in 13. 
No. Okay. 14. <laughs> 14 eggs. So then I um, come over here. Ugh. Grab the lid. Oh, you can, you can go ahead and close this, but I don't know what difference it makes, really. Um, it's got a little... Let me see if I can get this. Can you hold on here for just a second? I'll just lay down right here. Sorry, I needed two hands. What I need is a really good um, tripod. Anyway, now I'm back. It's, it's, you know, just a little rubber thing that attaches. So, put the lid on, lock it. Make sure that this is pointed away from you. Um, that means it's closed. Plug it in, plug it in. And it says it's on. Well, it says it's off, but I'm going to fix that. Um, so then we just go pressure cook. And the method uh, for these is 555. So I'm going to go backwards here. Why is it on? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Oops. Too far. All right, now, I'm going to go five minutes. Two, three, four, five. Five minutes. So, you don't have to do anything else. This is going to beep in a minute, and that means it understands what you want. There you go. It's on. And so, um, I'll let it go to pressure, and it'll say, um, you know, five. The number five will come up. So I'll give it five minutes, and it'll beep at the end of those five minutes. I'll unplug it, and I'll um, let it go down naturally. That means I won't mess with this. I won't open it um, manually. I mean the steam, not the, this won't open. It's locked. I'll let it go for five more minutes, natural release. And then I'll, um, if it's not natural released and this thing hasn't dropped to the down position, I'll do it with a wooden spoon. I'll open the valve. Don't put your fingers near it. <laughs> and um, let's see. After it does that, I'll take them out and I'll put them in an ice water bath for five minutes in another separate bowl in the sink. So that's why it's five, five, five. Five minutes cooking, five minutes releasing, five minutes ice water bath. You, um, it comes off oftentimes in one piece. The shell changed my life. <laughs> if you don't have one of these, it's worth the ticket right there. Um, and I'm still cleaning, so I'll be back. Okay, so my uh, timer went off for the last five minutes. So they've been in here off for five minutes with the steam coming down. But see, this red thing isn't down yet. So I just take a, an old spoon and I let it go manually. A lot of people use their fingers to do that, but I would rather not. <laughs> so this shouldn't take too long. And then I'll drop it in this, well, one at a time, gently, into this ice bucket here. And then I'll peel them in maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes after that. Here they are in uh, the water. And you know, when I first set them in that bowl of ice, they were on top and the um, hot eggs caused them to melt down a little bit, and then I just filled the rest up with ice water so that I could get them submerged. And one of them has a break. I don't see it, but anyway, sometimes that happens. There'll be a break in one, and it's no big deal. You know, it happens when you make them in a pan sometimes, too. And I wondered if maybe it was because I had older eggs. You know, those peelies here. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you when I peel one. Okay, now you're on. Actually, I did it once. Forgot to turn the camera on. Turned out perfectly. Okay, so what I do is I grab one and turn on a stream of water just a little to help. Rinse it off, pick it over here, pop it on the fat end. Some people like to give it a little a little roll. I did the other one with one hand on this and one piece, so sorry you had to miss that. <laughs> and just a little water to help. Can you believe that? Just comes off. I, I think I, I marvel at it every time it happens and it works. Okay. Peeled onions. I can say that behind onions this whole time. Peeled eggs is the top. Okay, this room's done. 
I got the laundry done. I got the sweeping in here done. I didn't mop, and I do still need to do that at some point. Um, there was so much because of the snow and everything coming in with the snow on the boots. I need one of those boot trays or something to put in here for people that come in from the garage. Me, that's my boots. <laughs> um, let's see. I guess that's it. And this never looks right. This. This was supposed to be replaced when we moved in, but it hasn't been done. So I'm a living with it. It's a laundry sink. I like those. My mom brought those from um, Arkansas. And that's an old um, rug beater, I think you call them. My husband always puts these fire extinguishers everywhere. He's, he's safety minded. <laughs> and that's it for this. I'd open this garage door, but I don't want to make anyone ill. <laughs> okay, so now the um, potato salad is ready. I've got the eggs ready to go. Here's a pan of, um, I'm not making a whole lot. It's just for, you know, four people and it's not like a big family picnic. So anyway, when I do that, I do like a lot more. So these are hot and this is the mayonnaise that I use. So um, where I grew up, the exact same label said Hellman's. Here on the West Coast, it says Best Foods. When I first moved here from Oklahoma in the 70s, um, they ran commercials and they would say, bring out the Hellman's and bring out the best in um, Oklahoma. And then when I got here, the same exact commercial ran and the words in the song were changed to bring out the best foods and bring out the best. So I knew it was the same thing and I felt comfortable buying it. I am real picky about um, my mayonnaise. That being said, in my potato salad, I'm going to put a squirt or two of this. I used to add a shake of sugar just to bring out flavor, but I think this covers that. Um, I used to order that on Amazon for a pretty penny. Turns out you can get it at Safeway now. My son came walking in with it, and I was like, where did you get that? So anyway, long story short, I'm going to mash up the eggs, add some mayonnaise, um, mash up the yolks and add some mayonnaise, and um, I put in some dry, ground mustard. I call it dry mustard. Salt, pepper, like I said, the Kewpie. I put in a little of this. Any of you have these around your house? This is what I use when I can't get a jar open. You just put it on top of the jar and it gives you some leverage and it pops the tightest jars off. It's awesome. So I've got my red onion and my celery already chopped. I'm saving this uh, one boiled onion. Oh, God, I keep doing that. Boiled egg for the top, you know, for pretty, just slices. And that's it. I think that is the end of what I put in mine. And I know everybody has their own, the way they like to do it. I like to add my mayonnaise mix with everything while they're still not screaming hot, but warm because they absorb a little bit. And then after they cool, I'll add a little more. Okay, that's my tater salad. Here it is and it's done. And I should add that, um, I usually don't use purple or red, whatever you call them, onions in my potato salad. Typically, I like to use just a sweet yellow onion. And the reason for that is I had two purple onions that looked like they were starting to go. So I cut one up, took the part that looked, you know, iffy away and used the good part. Um, the reason I don't usually use it is because they're a little bit stronger to me in flavor. Uh, and the way you can get rid of that is to chop up whatever onions you're going to want and soak them in ice water for a little while. And that is called um, debarking, like debark, so it doesn't bark and bite, debarking your onions. And so you're supposed to do that. And so if anybody asks you, yes, I did that. Actually, I forgot. Shh. Okay, here it is. I cleaned off the table. I put on a different tablecloth. It's not the one that I had put at first. The one I put at first looked really bad. It wasn't the right color. And here's dinner. I did the uh, hot dogs in the air fryer and I diagonal, you know, sli slice them just a little bit on the top. There's onions, there's chili, condiments, strawberries. The potato salad I made, store-bought mac and cheese, not mac and cheese, just macaroni salad. What's it called? It's called just Reese's macaroni salad. 
and the buns. I've got two packages of those. And here's my plate. And I'm going to eat, and I am just done. I am so done. <laughs> I hope you have a really good rest of your day and evening. And tomorrow is Thursday. Yay, I've got an appointment in the afternoon, late in the afternoon, so there's that. <laughs> um, hope you'll stick around, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and say hi. Mwah.